Hey everybody, Tom Gentile. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room. I have not done one of these market updates in quite a while, so I wanted to come back to you right after Labor Day and show you a little bit of what we're looking at going into uh, the month of September. And as we get through the end of September, you're going to see quite a bit of a change here. I'm also going to update you on the stock, bond, currency, and commodity markets. And so here we go. Um, Looking at the money calendar, you know, we're going into an area where, uh, you know, I was recently talking on my radio show and I was saying that we've had such a great, great summer as we've, the market's really gone up about 10% since June. It's getting a little toppy and the last two weeks we really have not budged to new highs. I do think we're going to get a little bit of a breakout. I think we're going to jump up to uh, 2200 on the S&P. The Dow is going to get somewhere close to 19,000, and then we're going to hit the middle of September. All right, when we hit the middle of September now, we start to change colors here. We start to go a little bit red, a little bit orange. This is also Fed week that's going on. What this calendar shows me is that the patterns within each day are going back over 10 years and are 90% uh, historical accuracy, which basically means that um, nine of the last 10 years, We've been getting more bearishness than bullishness coming into the back half of September. And uh, we'll take a look at October again as we get into get closer to October and see how that lays out. But, you know, mid-September to mid-October are sometimes the worst months to be long the stock market. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. For those of you that are tools members, if you click on the corresponding days, you can see exactly what's coming up on both the bullish and bearish camp. All right, uh, let's talk about overall markets. Let's look at the S&P first. So the S&P, if you take a look here, we've got these Bs and Ss. We have not had a buy signal on our darknet contrarian system since May. All right, since we had a nice buy at 204 and then a sell above two, around 211. But since then, we really haven't seen much. And what's been happening, and I've been saying this already, is that we're really kind of churning along here, although there's a slight uptrend. I do think a breakout's going to come. But then I also see a pullback coming shortly after that. Uh, take a look at the bond markets. It's kind of the same thing. It's really been flat. We've had, um, we had one darknet signal in here where we had a buy on uh, just after the 20th of July. About seven days later, we had a sell. That was a nice little, uh, little move right there in bonds, but just really going nowhere right now. Uh, moving into currencies. Now, this is the ETF for the um, euro dollar. And if you notice here, we had a buy, we had a sell, we had a buy, we had a sell. We just had a buy last week uh, at 108 and a half on the FXE, and currently it's moving higher. Uh, we are thinking that it's going to meet resistance somewhere up here around the 110 and a half area, but that's a that's a, a good two point move or two percent move in 20 days or less. Not bad at all for uh, for our dark net contrarian system here. Um, where does the euro dollar go from here? Well, I think the euro dollar is going to top out uh, around that 110 and a half area. If the stock market drops, the U.S. dollar should climb against it. If the U.S. dollar climbs against it, expect foreign currencies to drop uh, in sympathy with the stock market. Finally, take a look at oil. Oil is one of the, uh, the, the my most favorite commodities to trade. It has been in a really wild move. Uh, we've had two darknet signals. Uh, one came in the spring, which was right around April. That was when the USO was trading at 9. It caught that low at 9. And then the sell signal came up here at 11. Uh, that was a better than 20% move right there uh, within a matter of a look, around 20 to 25 days. Then look again where there was a buy signal right around nine and a half. We did drop to around nine and a quarter before rising, and then that sell signal again came in at 11. Interestingly enough, we're getting a lot of churning here in the oil market as we're set to either break out to move above the high or below the low. Right now, I, I don't like either side. I want to see what the breakout does. I really am predominantly bearish on oil. If the stock market goes down, uh, currencies go down, oil should go lower just as people fly to safety in the U.S. dollar. All right. Finally, for those of you that are members, log into TomsOptionTools.com and you can get my market details trade of the week. Uh, if you're not a member and you want to be a member, up here in the upper right-hand corner when you log in, we have a seven-day free trial for new 
potential members. And what I'll do is I'll also send you videos every single day to get you started on how you navigate some of the best software, uh, best trading software for options that is out there. Also, we have Darknet, we have the Money Calendar, and we also have a professional version available as well. All of those details you can get, tomsoptiontools.com. Uh, thanks again, guys. I will be talking to you soon.